So what are the major differences between these three procedures? Yeah. In IUI, what we do is um, the fertilization still happens in the uh, tube itself okay. because we are putting the sperm inside the uterus around the time of ovulation. Okay. So still the fertilization process happens inside the woman's body, which is in the tube. Okay. So in IUI, we only place the sperm, fertilization is happening in the tube. Okay. Whereas in IVF and ICSI, we are collecting the egg out okay. and mixing the sperm or injecting the sperm in the lab. Okay. which means the fertilization process happens in the lab. Okay. So that's major difference with regards okay. to the fertilization. What right, happens. Right. The second thing which, which is a difference between this is um, I, IV, IUI is a very simple process mm -hmm. whereas in IVF it's a complex procedure involving mm -hmm. multiple steps mm -hmm. like you know collecting ovarian stimulation to get more number of eggs, mm -hmm. collecting the egg out, mm -hmm. making doing the fertilization outside mm -hmm. then growing them in the lab and then putting the embryo in. So it, mm -hmm. it's a complex process involving multiple steps, both okay. IVF and ICSI. Okay. So that is about the process itself. Okay. And when we look at the what is called the, uh, the success rates, they also differ. Okay. In IUI, you are looking at a success rates of about 20-25% for one okay. cycle. Okay. Okay. What yeah. do we mean by 25%? One in four uh, couples whom we do IUI conceive. The other three don't conceive in the first cycle. Uh -huh. So they need multiple cycles of IUI. Whereas when we look at IVF or ICSI, for one cycle in good clinics, if you do two bla blastocyst transfer, which is the day five transfer of two embryos, you are looking at a success rate of about 65%, okay. which is almost three times higher when you compare to the IUI. Okay. So, and ICSI, between IVF and ICSI, there is no difference in the pregnancy rates or fertilization rates. Okay. So, it is just the way we do it and the reasons for which we do it. Okay. So now when we talk about the reasons, IUI is usually offered for couples who have slightly low sperm count. Mm -hmm. We call it as a mild male factor, mm -hmm. okay, where the count is borderline low. Mm. or in a particular medical condition called unexplained subfertility. Okay. So when we talk about unexplained subfertility, what this means is, so if for a couple, uh, all the tests are normal. So you would have heard that some couples say, all my tests are normal, still I am not able to yeah, conceive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So what that means is, they are, oh, she is ovulating. The mm -hmm. female partner is ovulating, mm -hmm. her tubes are fine okay. and the male partner's sperm count is fine. Okay, okay, but still they are not able to conceive. Right. So this condition, we call it as unexplained subfertility. Okay. Okay. So some of the reasons for this unexplained is, you know, could be fertilization issues or poor mm. equality, that, things like that. Mm -hmm. So the first step for this unexplained is IUI. Mm -hmm. We try up to three cycles. If okay. it doesn't work, we move for IVF. Okay. So, these are the, some of the conditions for which we offer IUI as the first step. Mm -hmm. Whereas, for instance, IVF is offered as the first step for someone like a tubal block. Mm -hmm. See, for IUI, you need a well-functioning tubes. Right. But someone with a tubal block, IUI is not going to work. For them, okay. we have to offer IVF straight away. Okay. And uh, say, for instance, again, some people have very severe endometriosis. Again, mm -hmm. you would have heard it's very common. Mm -hmm. So, these are the women, again, for whom we offer IVF as the first step. Mm -hmm. So, these are the conditions and, and some other women approach us with advanced maternal age. Mm -hmm. What we mean by that is when they already cross 40 when they come to us. For mm -hmm. them, IUI and lesser procedures don't work. We have okay. to offer IVF straight away. And ICSI is usually meant for male factor, what we call mm -hmm. it as a very low sperm count. Or for some men, there is no sperm count at all. We have to mm -hmm. take the sperm from the testis and do. Okay. So, the indications what we offer for IUI and IVF is different. Okay. And the process itself, as I said, the fertilization is different. Okay. In IUI, it happens inside. In IVF and ICSI, it happens in the lab. Okay. So, that's another difference. Success, I have said, it's very different between the two. Okay. And cost also is very different. Okay. okay. When we look at the cost, IUI being a simple procedure, the cost is far less. Okay. okay. Whereas IVF, you know, it involves multiple steps. So, the cost will also be higher. But right. so having said that, the success is also three times higher. Right, right. So, these are sort of, you know, differences between these okay. three procedures.